Elimination Chamber. Bobby Lashley against five other superstars with the WWE title on the line. How do you make Brock Lesnar more dangerous? Unleash the beast inside the Elimination Chamber. Are the days of Bobby Lashley as WWE Champion numbered? Generation, no questions asked. Goldberg, the Hall of Famer is here. Roman Reigns, I acknowledge you as my next victim. Reigns, Goldberg for the Universal Title. Dream matchup. You're next. been restored but on the road to wrestlemania there is a roadblock then now they can't go, can't go, can't see me. forever together WWE presents the Elimination Chamber Kickoff. Oh, the countdown to Elimination Chamber is officially on. Best believe the WWE Universe is ready as fans file into the Jetta Superdome. We are just six weeks away from WrestleMania and one hour from a premium live event that is sure to have a massive massive implications for WrestleMania. Hi, hello, and welcome to the Elimination Chamber kickoff show. I'm your host, Jackie Redmond. Happy to be hanging out with my boys, Matt Camp from The Bump and a man with many gigs, uh, Hot 97, ESPN. Form, I knew, I was Go going, I, I know, I've seen you on TV. I know you need that in there. <laughs> Peter Rosenberg. Guys, needless to say, I am pumped for a jam-packed Elimination Chamber. This is another big stop, of course, on the road to WrestleMania. And now we are 42 days away from WrestleMania. But key here, four championships will be on the line. That will path, I have a couple new paths for many superstars on the road to WrestleMania. Yeah, the, the question with Elimination Chamber, if you're a superstar, is, is this going to be a stop or a road bump on the way to WrestleMania? Ooh. I like mm -hmm. the way you, you put like that? that. I do. It I, could change I appreciate everything that. today. Listen, you're coming in hot, Rosenberg. <laughs> uh, you know, note the special start time, though. Noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific on WWE on Peacock. Outside of the uni United States, you can catch Elimination Chamber on WWE Network. We mentioned it's action-packed. That might be underselling it because we got matches on matches on matches. Let's start in the Elimination Chamber match. Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Riddle, Bobby Lashley, of course, Seth freaking Rollins and a wild card here in Austin Theory. Oh, that's right. And this is one everyone is waiting for. This was supposed to happen two years ago. A Universal Championship match. The icon Goldberg taking on the head of the table, Roman Reigns. And, of course, we have a little bit of a WrestleMania preview because Ronda Rousey and Naomi will take on the SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville. And don't forget, as we found it on SmackDown, Ronda must compete with her hand tied behind her back. Yeah, you know, she doesn't seem all that worried about that stipulation. Why would she be? She is ridiculously good. And the SmackDown Tag Team Championship is on the line between the Usos and the Viking Raiders. Here's one I am very excited about. Sleeper match of the day to me. The legend, Rey Mysterio with his son, Dominic Mysterio, taking on The Miz, and you can catch that right here on the Elimination Chamber kickoff show. And it will be no laughing matter when Drew McIntyre faces Mad Cat Moss in a Falls Count Anywhere, anywhere. match. That's right. No <laughs> count outs, no disqualifications. Pinfall or submission could happen anywhere. And of course, the undefeated Happy Corbin could factor into this one. I'm looking forward to that one, but my favorite match 
on the card is the Raw Women's Championship match between my idol. I actually have something in common with Becky Lynch. We both love Lita. She's on Mount Rushmore, one of the GOATs. She's going to try to take that title off Becky Lynch today. That's right. And the winner of that match between Becky and Lita will take on the winner of the Women's Elimination Chamber match at WrestleMania. We have Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Dewdrop, Nikki Ash, and Alexa Bliss. The Elimination Chamber, 24 feet high, 10 times. The danger in the Elimination Chamber is inherent. One of the most brutal matches ever devised. This match begins with two superstars in the ring. Four other superstars will be locked in one Lexan pod. Every five minutes, one of these other superstars will be released from a pod. But it's random. We've seen so many times in the past, the Elimination Chamber itself being used as a very effective weapon. There is nothing on it that doesn't hurt. You can only eliminate an opponent via pinball or submission inside the ring. The last one standing wins. We will have two chamber matches, both with championship implications. Bobby Lash is going to have to defend his WWE Championship against five elite level superstars. The winner of the Women's Elimination Chamber match will face the Raw Women's Champion at WrestleMania. If you want a clear path to WrestleMania, you must win Elimination Chamber. I think it's pretty safe to say the Elimination Chamber is absolutely no joke. Let's start with the Women's Elimination Chamber match that we're going to see today. A shot at the Raw Women's Championship on the line. Six women, one opportunity to seize everything they ever wanted. Who will capture it? Who will let it slip? Rosenberg, how do you see it? This is tough. Uh... I, I immediately go to Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley. Um, you think about this match, it's a brutal match, as you said, Jackie. It's a match about power, strength, endurance. To me, the two best athletes in that chamber are Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. Bianca looking fantastic last week. Uh, Rhea really did a number last Monday. Um, I like one of them to advance. Here's what I would say about this. On this road to WrestleMania, sometimes experience goes a long way. And I'm not talking about the experience of being in the chamber. I'm talking about the experience of being on this road. Because Rhea Ripley last year shows up on Monday Night Raw and becomes Raw Women's Champion at WrestleMania. Bianca Belair last year was brand new, but she won the Royal Rumble. We know she went on to win the SmackDown Women's Championship in the main event of night one of WrestleMania. They've been down this road before. Others are trying to carve their own path for the very first time. I agree with Peter. They have to be the favorites, but then you think about somebody with Liv Morgan who has the experience and who has been fighting and clawing and scratching and getting that close. Sometimes motivation may be the biggest factor of all. Well, Jack, oh, sorry, you go no, ahead, Jack. No, 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 you well, go. Well, we were talking about this earlier <laughs> off the air. You and I were discussing how much we love Dewdrop recently. Uh, and yes. you talk about someone with power. Dewdrop, to me, is someone who could end up surprising an elimination chamber. Well, I think the question is not who is the best superstar in this match. It's which superstar is best built for this match. And you absolutely need to be a powerful force if you're going to enter the elimination chamber. But really quickly, how big is Bianca Belair's advantage coming in last? Coming in last, I was just going to say, because mm. she's coming in last that's almost unfair because of the cardio <laughs> machine that she is the fact that she's coming in last and earning that this past week on Monday Night Raw is huge and luck is a big part of this if you're not one of the first to win if you are we know Bianca coming in last if you're in that five spot and that six spot that goes a long way because first of all you have more in the tank and some people may be eliminated already which is also a huge advantage exactly. well listen she earned the advantage whether it's fair or not is a discussion for a whole other day but she earned it despite an incredible performance from Rhea Ripley yeah, it, it was a big night for Rhea. She needed that in a big way. Everything she's been dealing with, with her former partner, Nikki Ash, I thought 
Uh, it may have not worked out perfectly for Rhea, but she really put on a showing to build confidence leading into the chamber. I think to that point, Peter, getting past someone she's had a personal issue with and it being part of this road, getting past Nikki A.S.H., taking her down, starting right away. Liv Morgan, who, as we said, has all of the motivation in the world to get back to the chances she's had against Becky Lynch in the Raw Women's Championship. She gets dispatched, and then I thought this might have been the best preview for both of them. So Zoom good. Drop and Rhea Ripley just beat each other up for about 10 minutes and then look at this Herculean effort by Rhea Ripley. You want to talk about building moment, motivation and confidence. She has plenty of it. And finally, Peter, we've talked about this a lot. A lot of things have gone wrong. Bianca said it's always something, something, something. Well, guess what? She came out last in this one and she got a victory. Luck finally on Bianca's side heading into a very important match today at Elimination Chain. I'll tell you what, I want to see Rhea Ripley versus Dewdrop 2.0. Like, I need to see that again. But, guys, are, are we sleeping on Alexa Bliss here? That, you said wild card before right. about Austin Theory. I think Alexa Bliss is the biggest wild card on all of Elimination <laughs> Chamber today because she's been getting cured. We haven't seen her since Extreme Rules. Who is Alexa Bliss right now? Does it matter? I don't know if it even matters. <laughs> who is Alexa Bliss right now? I'll because tell you what, nobody I can prepare for her. I am not messing with no, Alexa no. Bliss. I'm Let good. me tell you. Right? I am good on, I'm good on Alexa Bliss. I don't even want to talk about her chances. And frankly, you, the truth is this. Sometimes we sleep on Alexa Bliss because of her stature. No, no, no. She has won everything there is to win in WWE. You always have to watch She's up. been in the chamber before. That's it helps. right. Goes a and long way. Listen, experience always helps in these situations. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to finding out who will come out victorious in that match for now. Let's take you live to the Jetta Superdome and check in with Kevin Patrick. Thanks guys, welcome backstage here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And I'll tell you, it is my honor to be joined by three-time Guinness World Record holder, Natalia. <laughs> Natalia, including Elimination Chambers, you've been part of almost every match WWE has to offer. With that said, who punches their ticket to WrestleMania tonight? Kevin, I will answer your question, but first off, I have a bone to pick with Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, I mean, she had a good little performance last week on Raw in the gauntlet match, but she had the audacity to call herself the Iron Woman of the WWE. And that is a distinction, Kevin, that belongs to me. And I have three Guinness World Records to prove it, Kevin. So enough talking about a woman that my cat blocked on Instagram. Let's talk about something that I do know. What I do know is that tonight at Elimination Chamber, Liv Morgan punches her ticket to WrestleMania. And, and Liv has come so close so many times. And I mean, she's gotta win something at some point, right? So hopefully tonight, all the pieces of the puzzle come together for Liv so that one day Liv can be as great as I am and become a Triple Crown champion. I think it's interesting that the boat is talking about Liv Morgan having the best chance to win or her pick. You think about experience. Liv Morgan's been in the chamber twice before. That goes a very long way. You're not scared. You're not thinking differently about what this is. You're not trying to find your surroundings. Liv knows what this chamber is all about. She has not been victorious in it yet, but maybe the third time will be the charm. I take a lot of stock in what the boat says when you think about experience. Well, whoever comes out on top in this women's elimination chamber match will get a shot at the Raw Women's Championship. The question is, you guys, who's going to be holding that title at WrestleMania? This might be one of the biggest challenges that Becky Lynch has ever faced mm. up against her idol, an icon, a ghost, somebody that is absolutely mm. on the Mount Rushmore for female WWE superstars. And for those watching on Peacock Premium Plus, we'll take a closer look at how Hall of Famer Lita is training for this title match against Becky Lynch. For those watching on Peacock or Peacock Premium, stick with us during this short break. Don't believe in This version of Lita is pretty interesting as I am getting to know her right now. This is the second part of my journey in this career to have been a trailblazer on the front end. And now at this age, I feel a very big sense of pride 
coming in here and representing not only myself, but like women past quote unquote their prime and showing that there's a new level and another prime to be had. I first met Becky when she came up to Raw. The day I saw her, I was like, oh man, like this girl has unlimited potential. But now this incarnation is a little sideways. And the Becky Lynch that I know she is deep down, she's just kind of off track. I hope that I can kind of knock her back on to that trajectory that she was on before because that Becky Lynch has unlimited potential. This Becky Lynch, I could see getting in the way of herself because she's just like believing her own height. She's down in that position. Um, so as soon as she steps over, just grab, grab her, that first leg. Her leg and yeah. Yeah. What's a counter that she's maybe not expecting? What's something that she hasn't faced with some of the other competitors in the ring? You uh -huh. here, and she would be grabbing the rope. Exactly. Right. She knows my arsenal as well, so looking at ways of like what to expect and just how to try to maintain control. Everything I do has to be spot on and perfect. There are no room for errors, mistakes. If I give Becky an opportunity, she will take it and walk out champ just like she has before. That <laughs> In the training and preparation, knowing that I'm able to kind of switch into that gear where I'm like now a competitor. Oh, so I can get under one. I know I can beat Becky Lynch. The better I prepare, the better I'm gonna do out there. But the success I'm after is walking away as a champion. There it is, Jetta Superdome, the site of today's Elimination Chamber and the final stop on the road to WrestleMania. We see that Lita has been training. We know that this is a massive opportunity for her and we hear Lita talk about the idea of a second prime. Her prime was pretty good. Uh, she is GOAT status, hands down. I don't think you'll find anyone in the WWE universe that will disagree with that. But does she have it in her, Peter, to have a second prime and dethrone Becky here today? Not only do I think she has a chance to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pick Lita to win wow. yes. today. That's what I think is going to happen. I believe Lita is ready for this moment. There was something in her at that Royal Rumble that I just knew there's a spark to Lita again. She's feisty. And not only that, she's also experienced. And now, as she said, in her second prime, she knows things she didn't know the first time around. And I believe she has Becky Lynch nervous. I disagree with the nervous part. I'm going to okay. tell you why. Because Becky Lynch has been through different parts of her career while as champion. And I think part of that is learning what it means to be champion and how to handle things as champion. We saw her on Monday Night Raw disheveled and sad and in her head. I don't believe any of it. I think Lita was watching Becky Lynch play mind games with her hero because I think Becky's ready. And she can say she has reverence, and I believe that. But I don't think she's in her own head. I think she's trying to get to Lita because Lita said it to me the other day. When I kind of changed my attitude and didn't care about the fans, I was unstoppable. I think that's where Becky is now, and I think that's where she needs to be if she's going to beat her hero and move on to WrestleMania and remain Raw Women's Champion. Ooh, I don't know. That's a spicy take. I respect the take, but if, if your prediction comes true and Lita beats Becky Lynch, that changes everything everything that, for WrestleMania, right? That's, that's what you love about WWE. Anything can happen, because now today, we think we're gonna have a WrestleMania. We have an idea of what it could be. Imagine if we go in with Lita as Raw Women's Champion. I know, oh, I know, I'm it's so really- I'm so excited, I'm such a Lita fan. I would just be so pumped to see Lita at WrestleMania defi defending the Raw Women's Championship, and that is a real, real possibility. Oh, my, so, my girlfriend uh, will see. actually faint if she gets to see Lita as <laughs> champion. She's such an icon, such an influence to so many people. People out there. If that happens, can you take a pick, throw it up on the social? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's a must. Well, right? Becky Lynch would be so happy to crush your dreams and your girlfriend's yeah, dreams. And this is what she gets out of things now is, oh, I can crush their dreams. <laughs> I can still be big time Bex. I go on to WrestleMania. True. Sure. Move my hero aside. She's got to go somewhere different. I think she's ready to do so. And to your point about Lita, the fact that we saw her on SmackDown, we saw her at the Royal Rumble, we've seen her 
on Raw. This has just not been popping in. She has been back in the mix the whole She's way. Ready. I think that prepares you mentally that much more. The way I see it, massive W on either side for whoever walks out of Elimination Chamber, the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, moving along to Drew McIntyre and Madcap Moss, who have been at hilarious odds uh, the last few weeks. They will face each other today at Elimination Chamber. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Happy Talk. Madcap, baby, we have been on a roll lately. We haven't been this happy since Madcap and I destroyed Drew McIntyre's neck. No! 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 WWE is reporting that Drew McIntyre suffered a cervical neck strain with severe contusions, but his return date is still very unclear. What do you call Drew McIntyre when we've injured him so badly that he can't even pee standing up? The Squattish Warrior. <laughs> okay, okay, Drew. When can all of us expect to see you compete again? Oh, never again. Happy Corbin. And now Mad Cat Boss. They've been cleaning house in here at the Royal Rumble, the Happy Folks. The Happy Folks smile just got turned upside down. We thought he'd be out for a year or so. Matt Campbell sent out. Corbin eliminated as well. After day one, a doctor looked me in the eye and told me, you're not going to make Royal Rumble. I looked him in the eye and told him that he could kiss my ass. Right now, my attention is fully on those idiots, Corbin and Madcap, that tried to end my damn career. All right, buddy, since you're here, I want to hear a joke. What does a criminal found not guilty have in common with the main event of WrestleMania? Tell me. They're both going to get off scot-free. <laughs> your life hell this is just the beginning i was just talking to adam pierce the elimination chamber you and i falls counts anywhere i can take you off the ramp take you to the desert feed you some sand drown you in the red sea the ideas my goodness they're unlimited after i finish what we started Elimination Chamber will be the night the laughter died. You heard Drew McIntyre. Elimination Chamber will be, quote, the day the laughter dies. <laughs> uh, that is a statement and a half. But when you look at this match, MC, who needs this victory more, Drew McIntyre or Madcap Moss? I mean, it's got to be Drew McIntyre. It's getting through personal issues. There's no doubt about that. He's got to get through that. But... He's trying to get back to WrestleMania. Last year, he challenged for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. He's a former two-time WWE Champion. But right now, Drew McIntyre does not have a clear path to WrestleMania. Mad Cat Moss and also the undefeated Happy Corbin stand in his way right now. One thing that I keep thinking about with regard to Mad Cat Moss is people sort of laugh at Mad Cat Moss. Do they? I, I, well, <laughs> they, they want them to. No, no, they're not laughing with him. They laugh at him sometimes, right? Some of the corny jokes, et cetera. But really, when you think about it, this guy is a physical specimen who is dangerous in the ring, multiple eliminations at the Royal Rumble. This is a guy who should be taken seriously. And to your point, Matt, if Drew McIntyre isn't prepared today, he may not have a path to WrestleMania. Maybe that's part of Mad Cat Moss's strategy, you know? Make people underestimate me. Make people think that I'm a joke when, in fact, I'm actually a really serious competitor. And if you don't know that, you are in big trouble. But I have a feeling Drew McIntyre is ready. That is a match that is weeks in the making, but we have a match that is two years in the making. Roman Reigns, the head of the table, against Goldberg. Oh, baby. Oh, 
I don't fear anybody in this business. I'm here to take care of business. I'm here to rip people's faces off and get back to who I am. Everybody that's been put in front of me, I've destroyed. Goldberg is really taking this sport by storm. The first undefeated man to ever win the world championship. I don't care whether I'm 52 or 22. I still think that I can go out there and be the best that I can be. Goldberg, turn back the clock. The icon. Holy hell! The Hall of Famer is here! Goldberg marching to the ring! Roman Reigns, you're next! Goldberg? Nobody cares. You wanna know why? Because I'm here now. I'm the greatest Universal Champion of all time. The longest reigning Universal Champion ever! I've beaten them all. I'm in God mode now. Look at the God you built. Look at the God you built. Look at the God that you built. He's on a different level. Look at the God you built. No one has done the things that I've done in over 35 years. The new God, the new God. Over. Years ago, he might have a chance. Everything's different now. Look at the guys you build. You know, this match was supposed to take place two years ago at WrestleMania and didn't. A lot of people are talking that this may be one comeback too many. See, and that's the problem. I've listened to a couple of those people. And it's taken me out of my game. But I finally realized that I don't give a damn what anybody thinks. I'm still the same Goldberg. This is old news. And if that guy came back around, I'd smack him in the face and get him out of here, too. I'm here for my legacy. I'm here to show people that it doesn't matter your age. It matters only about your desire. When it comes to the Universal Championship, I'm next. I'll run things around here. You're in my ring now. As far as comebacks are concerned, this one will call upon the old Goldberg you remember. All the pressure's on Goldberg. You're gonna acknowledge me. I acknowledge you as my next victim. Dream matchup, dream fight. Goldberg reigns for the Universal title. I'm gonna Goldberg. Goldberg. <laughs> Good luck with that, kid. There's only one me. We've waited two years to see this match, Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. And for Goldberg, it really comes down to legacy, doesn't it? That's what this is about for Goldberg. You hear Michael Cole a few weeks ago ask him, is this one comeback too many? Are the naysayers right? What do you think? Well, I'm one of the naysayers. Uh, let's just be honest about it. I think Goldberg should have left well enough alone. Two years ago was one thing. It didn't happen. I think it's too late at this point because Roman Reigns now is even better than he was two years ago. He's the best version of Roman Reigns. But I will tell you, Goldberg said one thing I agree with on, on last that. night. He is next. Not the next champion, the next victim of the head of the table. Ooh. I get the point. I get it because of where Roman Reigns is at. But Goldberg right now, remember the last time we saw him in a match was the last time we were in Saudi Arabia, Crown Jewel. And who did he defeat? Bobby Lashley, who is the WWE champion right now in what I think is one of Goldberg's best matches of his career. So he's coming off a big victory, and now he has something that he has wanted on his plate. You ask him, it's not just two years. It goes back even further than that. He knows what Roman means to the history of sports and entertainment, and if at this point Goldberg can knock off Roman Reigns, then Goldberg has an achievement that no one else can say they've had in almost 540 days with the Universal Championship on the line. Well, Roman Reigns absolutely has way more to lose in this match than Goldberg, right? Oh, yeah. I would agree with that. 
And I think when we look at where Roman Reigns is right now and all of the former Universal Champions he has defeated along the way, this would be another one in Goldberg. What Roman Reigns is doing right now is etching his all-time legacy as maybe the best ever. He is taking a chisel to people's Mount Rushmore's. <laughs> oh, right. hey. I like that. And Goldberg's on it. If he can knock someone else off it today against Goldberg, I don't know who's stopping Roman Reigns, and I don't know how you call don't call him the best of all time. Really quick, though, age has been talked about a lot in this match, right? But we've seen in other sports that age, it, it isn't as much of a disadvantage as it used to be, especially for some of the best to do it in what they do. Well, yeah, and with the, with the technologies that we have now and how people can work out and keep their body ready, it is certainly a different world than it was 20 or 30 years ago. But I just think if, if, if Goldberg was back against someone else, I would be talking about a really nice end to this story. Are but you saying he needs a warm-up match for Roman Reigns? No, that's she's saying it's Roman Reigns. That's, that's what you're saying. Yeah, there, there's just anyone but Roman. He's just, he's too good right now. Him and Paul are back on the same page. It's too much Roman, I'm sorry. Well, he is the head of the table uh, for a reason as he chisels away at Mount Rushmore. I like that line. Uh, I like that that is a good line. <laughs> well, how about... His, uh, his compatriots, uh, the Usos, on a 215-day run with the tag titles. They are on the line today against the Viking Raiders. We let everybody know who the bloodline is. The bloodline runs WWE. We let everybody know who the best damn tag team in the world is. Don't try to test me, because things will just get messy. My tongue just does an empty trucky thumb like Derrick Henry. My not just play the win. Don't care if you take me in, because huh, I'm out with a team, and we gon' take the ring. Splash! Seven-time tag team champion, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos! Say my name. All these days I've been up grinding in the rain. All the nights I've dedicated to the game. In for greatness, so I'm grinding every day. When I get it, things will never be the same. A dominant performance, the Usos are at the top of their game, and they're un. Standing in front of you is the definition of a true tag team. We let everybody know. We the ones. Jack, you mentioned that unbelievable ring that's going down right now for the Usos as a SmackDown tag team champions. And you think of who they've put behind them, at least for now, New Day and Street Profits. But the Viking Raiders are unlike anybody that they have ever faced before. And that's why I think they're interfering in matches like we saw last night and stealing helmets and things like that. <laughs> this is a very different matchup. For the Usos, Peter. You're not trying to suggest that the Usos are nervous about this, that this isn't one of the most decorated tag teams of all time, that this isn't a tag team who's had wars, wars with some of the best WWE has to offer. Um, I agree, the Viking Raiders are a very unique tag team, and you and I were talking about this earlier, Matt, they've been champions everywhere. Everywhere. Except SmackDown. That's right. So that is a fascinating uh, aside to it, but again, sort of like I feel about Roman Reigns, I just feel the Usos are in their bag right now. All right, well, we don't have to wait very long to find out. Mm. But can I just tell you guys something? I love a fun, solid stipulation. And we have a good one today because we've got a one-armed Ronda Rousey <laughs> it's a classic. in action. If there's anybody that can get a W with one arm, I mean, according to her, maybe with no arms she could, um, that's what we're going to see today. But let's go back to how we got here for this match because it's been a journey. Yeah, it sure has. And by the way, I mean, the thing that we need to mention here is that Sonya essentially has one arm tied behind her back as well. Yes. And At the hands of right Ronda Rousey, There of you go. Uh, this match two weeks ago was maybe one of Naomi's best efforts, and that's how good Charlotte Flair is, is that she was able to dispatch her, and they couldn't just leave it at that. Sonya couldn't just leave it at that, and her arms were in serious trouble there. And is there some kind of uh, partnership that right goes there. beyond just this match? Ronda Rousey will wrestle this match with one arm tied behind her back. I mean, if you can back out, it's no problem. Uh, oh, uh, okay. With no hands, I will still tap dance on your forehead.
and Sonia Deville and her tricks. But this one, like, I kind of understand why. Like, she's only got one arm. So Ronda's. I mean, I kind of. I hate. I actually hate. What have we done hate, to you? I don't what have know. we done to you? You poisoned me. Two weeks ago on Talking Smack, you gave me a hard time because I said I sympathize with Sonia Deville. Maybe I just like giving you a hard time, Peter. <laughs> but uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. She does. There is a lot of ammunition if you're Sonia Deville right now. But don't forget, there's also a lot on the side of Naomi. This has been a fascinating situation between the two of them. And then, of course, we get a little preview of WrestleMania. Our first look. Between Charlotte and Ronda. Uh, yeah, they have a little history, of course, as we know. WrestleMania, first ever main event with all three females, with Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. We know what went down there. Of course, they had a great match of Survivor Series, but now we get that preview. I hope. Who knows? Maybe they won't be in the ring at the same time. But we're going to get a preview with Ronda having an arm behind her back. I get it when it comes to Sonya. But Ronda with one arm against Charlotte Flair with two, that doesn't exactly seem fair. Uh, that's a good point. You might be swaying me over. But I think the big question here is if we see them in the ring together, what will it tell us about Charlotte versus Ronda for WrestleMania? Well, what I mean, will the, we learn? Well, the, the biggest thing for us to learn here is where Ronda Rousey is after a lot of time off. Is there ring rust? We saw she had a she had a run, of course, in the on, in the Rumble on her way to winning it. But we haven't seen a lot of her, and certainly not in this kind of situation. So I think it's really going to be point. more telling about Ronda than anything. Well, I'd also say this: if I'm Charlotte, I'm going after that arm. I'm going after whatever. I'm trying to hurt her. I'm trying to weaken her heading into WrestleMania because it's the smart thing to do. And if she's got one arm tied by her back, I'm taking advantage of it because my opponent is in a very vulnerable position right now. Absolutely. I hate agreeing with you. And it's I logic. hate you know what? But if I'm Charlotte, I wait, I'm waking up today and I'm choosing violence. Like I am choosing violence. I am attacking <laughs> the weakness of Ronda Rousey. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for that match. For now though, let's take you live to the Jetta Superdome and Michael Cole. Thanks, Jackie and company, and welcome to the largest concrete dome in the entire world, the Superdome in Jeddah. I'm Cole Graves and Staxon at ringside, and tonight, guys, we shape WrestleMania. It is a cool, breezy night here on the shores of the Red Sea, but trust me, the action is going to heat things up in a big, big way. We're on the road to WrestleMania, and it kicks off here at Elimination Chamber. A lot of careers of WWE superstars awesome. are going to be shaped right here tonight, but we're not wasting any time. Let's get started. Son. Well, Miz questioning who Dominic's father is, mentioning the legendary late great Eddie Guerrero. Then we would shift to this past Monday night on Raw, guys. Mysterios versus the tag champs, the Alpha Academy. Ray and Dominic, incredibly impressive as a tag team unit. Miz, who was on commentary, would join the fray and eat a splash from Ray on the outside for his troubles, which opened the door for Chad Gable to hook the tights of Dominic and retain the Raw Tag Team titles, but it was afterward that Miz would truly make his impact felt at the expense of Rey Mysterio with a fantastic assist it from was his beautiful, Miz. talented wife, Maurice. And Miz trying to steal the spotlight again and once again try to embarrass the Mysterio family. Is jealousy the right word to use? It's, it's the, exactly. You hit the nail right on the head there, Michael. The Miz is jealous of the Mysterios, in particular, the Miz is jealous of Rey Mysterio and everything he's accomplished here in WWE. Why on earth would a must-see superstar the caliber of Miz be jealous of anyone walking the earth, Saxton? Because Rey Mysterio's a living legend? A future Hall of Famer? Rey Mysterio! Rey 
Mysterio vows to shut Miz's quote trap here tonight. He says Miz and Maurice have been making everyone's life miserable in WWE. I'm actually okay with Rey Mysterio shutting the trap of the Miz. It's a welcome sight for all of us. Saxton, you are in the minority when you speak that sort of nonsense. Another ignition point, guys, in this rivalry, the fact that Rey Mysterio is on the cover of WWE 2K22, the biggest video game in WWE history. It hits different on March 11th, but Miz believes he should be on the cover. Let's take a look at the Miz's resume. Miz has danced with the stars. Miz and Maurice are reality TV mega stars. Miz is an A-list Hollywood movie star. Every once in a while, you gotta throw the little people a bone, you know? No, 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 see, all those accomplishments, it's why it's so baffling to me, why The Miz is so insecure. Michael mentioned it a second ago, complaining that he wasn't on the cover of WWE 2K22, complaining that he didn't get a qualifying match for the Elimination Chamber. The Miz is full of complaints when the spotlight is not squarely placed on him. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to WWE on Peacock for the first time ever. The Elimination Chamber making his international debut we are at the Superdome in Jeddah in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia part of the kickoff show as Miz and Rey Mysterio go at it and Miz right out of the box goes after Rey Mysterio brilliant strategy by the veteran Miz you would imagine by now Rey Mysterio would know better than to take your eyes off of the A-lister Rey Mysterio a three-time world champion former Royal Rumble winner as Ooh. well and Miz with a clubbing blow to the back of the neck and Rey Mysterio could be injured early. A valuable time. Valuable time being wasted by the Miz, jaw jacking with Rey's son Dominic. I don't even know what business Dominic Mysterio has out here at ringside tonight. This match is between the Miz and Rey Mysterio. Oh, Rey and Dominic, the first ever father-son tag team champions in the history of WWE. Rey has been extremely supportive of his son and vice versa. And Miz again to the midsection. I agree with that. I saw Ray pushing Dominic Stroller through the airport. Oh, it's very hard for Glad to see things haven't changed as Miz is now driven uh -oh, into the second uh -oh, row. Uh -oh. Here we go. Position for the 619, and Miz is going to take a breather. Dominic is out here to distract Miz, and no one's going to convince me otherwise. Dominic oh, has done nothing for you. The Miz, uh, because he was jaw jacking with Dominic, got caught off guard that time, and Mysterio took advantage. Oh. And now Ray baseball oh. slide, oh. splash onto the Miz. Ray may have undershot just a little bit, it made it worse. Looks like two elbows of Mysterio right into the midsection of the Miz. And think about it, Byron, as we take another look at the legendary Ray Mysterio. I think Dominic learning from his dad, I mean, incredible. Look, there's a lot of pressure that comes with the Mysterio name, and Dominic has welcomed that, and he has thrived under that pressure. WWE Universe here in Jeddah letting the Miz know that they disapprove of his actions. Well, it's an electric. Oh, wait a minute. Dominic hey, and Miz hey, right back into the get ring. Get Dominic out of here. Well, the official was dealing with a Rey Mysterio, and Dominic sent Miz right back into the ring. And now Rey Mysterio raining down rights on the Miz's moneymaker. Rey Mysterio now. Ascending all the way up top. And Miz takes advantage. Mysterio caught in a precarious position, upside down in the turnbuckle. And wide open for the Miz to deliver the kicks. Less than 25 minutes away from the start of an elimination chamber proper as Dominic tries to get his dad back into this matchup. The energy here in Jeddah has been palpable for the past several days. It seems like everybody is waiting for the Elimination Chamber. Especially oh. the Miz. Well, Miz understands this is an opportunity to knock off one of the all-time greats. Not to say Miz isn't in that category as well. As we mentioned before, former two-time WWE Champion. Trust me, Miz will remind you every opportunity he has to tell you how great he thinks he is. I'm surprised he's a... Uh, doesn't have Maurice out here to hide behind him. Right, that's a very Break good your point. your tongue, Cole. Maurice stayed back because Maurice is simply watching and enjoying as her beloved husband does what he does best. Dominate. I guess she can't be out here to help him cheat either. You mean like Dominic? And 
Mysterio firing back, kicks to the hamstring. Reversal now, Ray into the corner. Oh, and, oh, knee right to the midsection. And Miz, oh, with a knee to the face. Cover by Miz for the victory. And Mysterio able to kick a two. I've had several of my sources tell me that if Miz is impressive enough tonight and manages to, to defeat Rey Mysterio, there's a petition to replace Rey Mysterio with Miz on the new 2K22 game. And I bet you your signature's on that petition, right? About 22 minutes remain before we get to Elimination Chamber proper. A capacity crowd expected tonight at the Superdome in Jeddah. First time ever the Elimination Chamber has left the United States and headed out overseas. The final premium live event stop on the road to WrestleMania. Ray able to create some separation with himself hey, and the hey, Miz. Hey, Elbow right between Ray's eyes. And now it took a hey, swing. It's oh, hey. again. Wait a minute. Mysterio now rolling up Miz, shoulders down. Oh. And Byron, it appeared that Miz deserved that. Yeah, look, the Miz oh. obviously swung at Dominic first. Dominic defended himself. Miz has got enemies on all sides tonight. No, How no, is no, Miz no. supposed The Miz has one opponent. Oh, look at Dominic on the outside, lying. I hope Ray grounds Dominic hey, for his dishonesty. You're defending the man who pretended he got tripped a couple weeks ago. Remember that one? Yeah, and it was perfectly legal. We discussed that. I made you look foolish that night, too. Well, Danilo is the ref. Oh, and another kick by Miz. The world famous it kicks over and over again. Miz is firing on all cylinders tonight. Miz is wildly with this one, and Mysterio back to his feet looks to use his quickness to build some sort of momentum in the matchup. Elbow caught Miz. Stuns him momentarily. Another one rocks the Miz. Two boots by Mysterio connect. And there we go. Sends Miz into the ring post. I hope the official's keeping his eye on Dominic. Big opening right now for Rey Mysterio, who desperately has to capitalize. Well, it also allows Rey to buy some time. He's taking a lot of punishment in this match, Byron. A chance of 6-1-9 echoing throughout the Jetta Superdome from the top. Oh, top rope to see it sent time. Mysterio springboard cross body lateral press hooks the leg almost had him in a kick out at two near fall such impressive tenacity displayed by the Miz hey, Mysterio more than happy to continue oh Ray took a little too much time and Miz took advantage and a sunset flip Ray rolls through and a kick caught Miz oh, oh, oh. cover by Mysterio again is it enough no Dominic continue to play cheerleader for his dad. Rey Mysterio feeding off the energy of the WWE Universe here in Jeddah. The support of his son, Dominic. Reversal by Miz. Mysterio sent to the outside. Great balance by Ray. Turn around, Miz. Yeah, yeah, please turn around, Miz. Ooh. Oh, oh. Turned into that. Down low goes Mysterio. Now on top. Top sunset flip. Ball face first. That's going to do it. Mysterio yeah. cover on the DDT and a kick out by Ray at two. I thought for absolutely certain Miz had this one all wrapped up. Yeah, Ray Mysterio has made a career out of proving larger athletes wrong. Biggest underdog in the history of WWE, Ray Mysterio. And now looking for the figure four. Mysterio able to counter. Miz missed wildly with the kick. And now Ray. But for the skull crushing finale. Ray's in trouble. They're looking for an escape. And able to. Now uh -oh. Miz is in position. For the second time. Let's see if we're going to dial it up. 619 connects. Oh, no. This is going to be humiliating. It's gonna be wonderful. Rey Mysterio wasting no time. And Miz realizing he was close to losing this match. Yet another in a series of brilliant veteran maneuvers what the by the whoa, 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 yeah, we Put the chair down, Miz. Nothing better than about having a steel chair in his hand. Oh! Mysterio launches himself over the top rope to take Miz out. Really, Miz sensing defeat for himself, getting desperate. Dude. Miz is simply paranoid because Dominic Mysterio has been lurking around ringside the whole time.
Miz has every right to use an equalizer. And Dominic now gonna make sure that Miz doesn't use that equalizer. decision this official has made in his career. Uh, we mentioned Eddie Guerrero a bit earlier on tonight. Miz pulled one out of the late great Eddie Guerrero's playbook there. Dominic getting caught and sent back to the locker room. No PlayStation for you this week, Dominic. Once again, the Miz fooled our official. And Miz <laughs> driving Mysterio into the corner, looking for the skull-crushing finale. Rey Mysterio, oh, no, no, no. however, rolls through. Shoulders are down. Of course, because the Miz's plan clearly backfired. Oh, and a oh. super kick by Dominic. I think Miz might have just lost a tooth. That's a shame. Looking like 10 grand a piece, Saxton. Oh. Miz taken down by the Mysterios. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Time for a double 619. And now for the exclamation point from Dominic. Speaking of the late great Eddie Guerrero, frog splash. <laughs> and we're not done yet. Ray wants in. Viva La Rosa. Ray from the top rope. <laughs> well, the Mysterios said they would make Miz shut his trap. The Miz got exactly what he deserved at the hands of the Mysterios. What are you talking about, Sax? It was basically a handicap match the whole time. Miz was outnumbered from the opening bell. Well, basically Miz complaining the entire match until his plan backfired. Well, we are 15 minutes away from Elimination Chamber on Peacock. The Jetta Superdome will be jam-packed and loud tonight as the Mysterios celebrate the win over the Miz. And shut his trap, they did. The Mysterios come out on top as fans are still making their way into the Jetta Superdome in anticipation as we get closer and closer to Elimination Chamber. And one match that we have been waiting a long time for. Two years in the making, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. We've heard him with that epic line. He's in God mode now. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Goldberg is ready for God mode, but that is what he is going to get from Roman Reigns. And for those of you watching on Peacock Premium Plus, we'll take a closer look at Roman Reigns. And for those watching on Peacock or Peacock Premium, stick with us during this short break. Roman Reigns, the man whose job it is to make sure his family stays at the top of the food chain. The most dominant superstar in sports entertainment. You're going to see who run WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, let's witness the highlights of the most dominant, decorated, universal champion, the head of the table, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. This is my island. This is my WWE, and if you want it, come and take it from me. I'm the greatest of this generation. Acknowledge me! The backbone of the number one show. He has been unstoppable for well over a year. When Roman Reigns shows up, WWE is winning. Who you think changed the ratings for this show, huh? Me. Who you think made this title relevant? The one that everybody wants. Me. I've 
beaten them all. Tonight marks day number 356. 416, 508 consecutive days. Roman Reigns, the longest reigning Universal Champion ever. I'm in God mode now. The breath taken, record breaking. Acknowledge me. I told you, I'll run this shit. I'm the tribal chief, the head of the table. Universal champion for however long I want to be. There's no end in sight for the reign of Roman Reigns. Now the whole world can acknowledge me. I cannot wait. I'm telling you guys, I happen Woo! to think it's going to be a long day for Goldberg. But either way, we will find out when the Universal Champion, the head of the table, who, by the way, he's back on the same page with Paul Heyman. Roman Reigns defends against Goldberg. Uh, by the way, I still think it's going to be over three and a half spears in that match. But what about this one? The WWE Championship is on the line. Bobby Lashley defending against former champion Brock Lesnar, against former champion Seth Rollins, <laughs> against former champion AJ Styles, a wild card in Austin Theory and Riddle. In a match built up over decades, one we thought we'd never see. Two Leviathan coming face to face. Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. At the end, Bobby Lashley pinned Brock Lesnar and stood victorious. We have been thrust back into the era of the almighty. Bobby, you're gonna pretend like you're the champion? The only way you beat me was because of Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. After that little debacle, Brock Lesnar entered the Royal Rumble. Brock Lesnar's going to WrestleMania! You see at WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns is gonna be title versus title. I challenge you for my rematch. Let's do it, Bobby, come on! You can go to the end of the line and earn your title shot. Your challenge is declined. I think I may have an idea. The new almighty WWE Champion will step inside the Elimination Chamber against five superstars. Seth freaking Rollins, Riddle, Austin Theory, AJ Styles, and the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar! Could you imagine if I was WWE Champion? Mr. McMahon has taught me a lot of lessons. Trust me. I can't let him down. I can walk into WrestleMania the WWE Champion. No one is going to stop me from having a defining WrestleMania moment. How do you make Brock Lesnar more dangerous? You unleashed the beast inside the Elimination Chamber! It got me trapped. Bobby, you know you didn't beat me. Brock Lesnar is gonna be the new WWE Heavyweight Champion! It's not me locked into the chamber with Brock. It's gonna be Brock locked in the chamber with me. I will be defending my title at WrestleMania! The last one standing wins. Who will emerge WWE Champion?
sorry, but can we please talk about something that hasn't been talked about enough? And that's the fact that this is the first title defense for the champion, Bobby Lashley, yep. and it's inside Elimination Chamber. Uh, MVP. I know. Like, listen, MVP to me is one of the most brilliant minds in the business. I love the man. Consider him a dear friend. <laughs> I called him. I said, how do you let this happen to your guy? How can this be his first title defense? And for Brock Lesnar, it's the exact opposite. He already has his ticket punched to WrestleMania, mm -hmm. and this could just be icing on the cake. To t Paul Heyman may not have let this happen. I'm just throwing that out there. Wow. But, I mean, hey, Roman no, Reigns is not an elimination shot. chamber, is he? He's got a tall task for him to Goldberg. But to that point, uh, Bobby Lashley can do this. Bobby Lashley is 1-0 in elimination chamber and won a championship. You go back 16 years. That's a long time but I also say Bobby Lashley is better now than when he first stepped in that elimination chamber. The competition, though, is stacked. Wow. You mentioned the experience earlier in the show. Who do you like as a favorite here? And I'm not letting you pick Bobby Lashley or Brock Lesnar. Oh. Uh, I'll tell you right now. I think Seth Freakin' Rollins is a favorite. A in fact, I have picked him multiple times in the past week to win this very match. He wants to spoil the plans of Brock Lesnar. He wants to spoil the plans of Roman Reigns and those two battling title versus title at WrestleMania. We're a long way from there. He did it at WrestleMania 31. He wants to be there from the get-go. Maybe that happens if he wins the I, chamber. Listen, you, you took away the two people who listen, I would Listen, you can break my rules. Okay, They're not okay. like yeah. stone class. <laughs> yeah. They're not picking, iron class. I'm picking Bobby Lashley. Who am I? I'm new here. I'm, I'm picking Bobby Lashley, but I'll say the person that I have an eye on is Austin Theory. I want to see if Austin Theory can do enough, even if it's not win the chamber, do enough to try to create a path to WrestleMania. I have one moment I want to see. I would like to see Riddle and Brock Lesnar face off, even ooh, if it ooh, gives ooh. us a couple minutes, just for a Real, little bit. Just That's it. Really quick, if Brock Lesnar pulls out the victory, one word to describe how massive that is. Uh, stupendous, that's what I'd say. It would be stupendous, well played. I'm going uh, stupendous as well. Well, listen, we don't have to wait much longer because we are a literal seconds away from elimination chamber thanks for watching the kickoff show for peter rosenberg and matt camp i'm jackie redman enjoy the show the almighty era has been restored but on the road to wrestlemania there is a roadblock the elimination chamber bobby lashley against five other superstars with the wwe title on the line how do you make Brock Lesnar more dangerous? Unleash the beast inside the elimination chamber. Are there